<laughs> now everyone's gonna think he's my boo or something like that. Like. Yeah. Look at that cute couple. <sighs> no. I mean, this garden's intent is for to sell vegetables, and like a, most of the produce goes to the CSA that I have. Right now, I have 27 shares. Yeah, and now I have access to land. And I'm like finally doing what I've been trying to do for so long. Like, so, without the the community, you couldn't be. Oh no, I couldn't afford to do any of this. I don't have family land. I don't have financial support. I started all of this with like 300 bucks. I bought like this irrigation stuff with that, you know. And people are really helping me out. Like I use my neighbor's tractor, and someone like lent me a rototiller, and. And then like last year I just used a bunch of free seeds, like I didn't, I didn't even have money to buy seeds. Without the other people and then just like my neighbors, I wouldn't have the resources to do this. I mean that's one thing that like I think I, I have kind of a disconnect with a lot of the sustainable ag community that like I've had contact with, even like through school. I went to the sustainable ag program in Pittsburgh. So much of it is still based in this models of sole proprietorship and owning everything yourself. Like you have to own land, you have to own a tractor, you have to own a truck, you have to own a road tiller, you have to own all this irrigation, you have to have money to pay people to do things. You have to like, just like have all this capital. Something really simple, which is me using just the soil and the sun and my body to like make food and bring wealth into my world and my economy so I could sell things and like it's just like almost unattainable just because we aren't allowed to live on land we're not allowed to use land that is not being used it's my neighbor's land who like the guy who owns it actually doesn't care what happens on it then his brother his brother's one who's been giving all this trouble for wanting to farm on it when is nothing's happening on this land half acre plot of land that could do nothing or it could make me a living and feed people. We have all these resources for us to live and live really well, but people are all hung up on owning things. <laughs> like all the reasons why we can't just like live and be happy is be is like all tied up with even bigger systems of how we like structure our society. We think that we're gonna get all our emotional support from like this nuclear family, this really small unit and not like a larger support system. And you know, like the, the, this, the scarcity that, you know, that most people, I don't know, that I grew up in, I grew up in a lot of scarcity, thinking that like, that, it was, that life was hard and that, they, and that like, probably not gonna get what you want. <laughs> Well, it doesn't have to be that bad. <laughs>